Hi there, my name is Bronwyn and this is Tarot Keeper. Um, this is a deck that I purchased off of Etsy. The artist's name is Nikisha Vanderhoeven. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but there's her name. It comes in this very simple tuck box. There's the back. She's also the ar artist or the creator of the uh, Nikisha's Rabbit Oracle and the Rabbit Tarot. And she also has one called the Riderless Tarot, which is all horses. Um, she's got several decks. I think there's also a dog tarot. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. I will link her Etsy shop below. So this is the back of the card. It is like a waxy standard, I would say, card stock. I mean, it's decent. Nothing wrong with it at all. The It's a standard tarot size. Here's the Centennial uh, Smith weight. I love her artwork. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I would not recommend this deck for a beginner though because the suits have been changed and you really have to know your meanings. I still struggle, honestly. I don't use this deck to read with very often. The majors are all right, but the minors I find um, it does follow this RWS system, but the minors I still am like reminding myself uh, which suit is which because they aren't, the suits aren't written on the cards and they're all based on animals. So, cool. I thought I'd put this up here because um, I haven't really seen any flip throughs of this deck. At least not ones that were up close. So in case anybody else is looking for a video walkthrough or flip through of this deck, I am going to make it available because <laughs> I remember looking on YouTube when I was thinking about buying this deck. Beautiful moon. Okay, so the wands are represented by rabbits or hares. As you can see, there's a number, but there is no indication that it's the wands. So I do, I will admit, I find that a bit tricky. Some of them are obviously tied to the RWS, but some of them, like this one, the Three of Wands, that one's pretty clear, but some I do have more trouble with. I like this. Now this doesn't come with a guidebook, but she does have a PDF you can print, um, but it's very basic. I mean, honestly, I mainly used it just to figure out which suits were which when I first got it and to just prompt my memory when I forgot. Cause I'd get the, like, unless I really looked at the cards, I'd get the, uh, the wands and the cups confused the rabbits and the foxes. So the badger's suit is the suit of swords. And I have a thing for badgers, so that is mainly why I absolutely had to get this deck. I am obsessed with badgers, European badgers. I've never seen one in real life, but I have uh, knitted them and they are just, I just love them. I 
I hope my camera is picking up the beautiful colors in this deck. I love this knight. I mean, a boar and a badger. Come on. <laughs> it couldn't get any better. And this queen. Oh my gosh. Okay, so foxes are cups. This is gorgeous. Pardon the noise in the background. There's uh, Coco the cat is grooming himself. So the kit is the page. And finally, the pentacles suit are crows. Okay, so I'll give them a quick shuffle. I'm not sure if I have any other decks that have cardstock comparable to this, other than her Rabbit Oracle, which is obviously printed by the same printer. Maybe this is, where is this printed? In China. Shuffles very well. Like I said, it's waxy, but it's not glossy glossy. Doesn't have a horrible glare. And it riffles beautifully. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.